Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Mr. Top 10 and now let's get in this video. When Warren Buffett speaks, we should listen. The billionaire investor Warren Buffett warned of inflation and hitting the US economy amid the billionaire investor Warren Buffett has warned of inflation hitting the US economy amid a red-hot recovery from the worst of the coronavirus pandemic. We are seeing substantial inflation. Buffett said at the Berkshire Hathaway annual shareholder meeting on Saturday, we are raising prices. People are raising prices to us and it's being accepted. Buffett knows about such things and he also knows about things like much higher scale of costs impacting his company Birchfire's housing and furniture business. I couldn't help but think what this might imply for President Biden's infrastructure plans and what inflation now implies about the already enormous cost of it all. Buffett said his portfolio companies were seeing very substantial inflation in a range of sectors and shortages of raw materials and high savings among those who kept jobs but were barred from spending on things such as holidays during lockdowns. The typically wide range of meeting, Buffett and his right hand man, Charlie Munger, took aim at what they saw as signs of over exuberance across the financial markets. Buffett is the world's richest investor with a fortune worth $104 billion, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. His investment conglomerate, Berkshire Hathaway, owns stakes in a wide range of businesses ranging from the tech company Apple to railway interest to the battery maker to a sale and ice cream fast food chain Dairy Queen. The 90-year-old was speaking on Saturday night from Los Angeles at the company's second shareholder meeting to be held online due to the pandemic. The meeting is usually well attended by investors and fans hoping to glean wisdom from a man regularly labeled as the Oracle of Omaha. Buffett's comments on inflation will be carefully considered by economists across the world who are closely watching for signs of overheating in the U.S. economy. Coronavirus lockdowns prompted deep recessions across the world in 2020, but huge monetary stimulus efforts coupled with easing restrictions are expected to cause a rapid economic recovery. Buffett revealed that in 2020's presidential election, he backed Joe Biden, who has pushed through a huge 1.9 trillion fiscal stimulus. Buffett criticized the Zero Commission Robinhood share trading app, saying that it was making it easier for younger investors to view stock market investment as gambling chips. Robinhood was at the center of a share trading mania at the start of the year as retail investors piled into meme stocks, such as the video game retailer GameStop. He and Munger both hit out the blue of special purpose acquisition companies, which are blank check vehicles that raise money in order to find private companies to buy. Hundreds of companies have pursued stock market listings via SPACs after their popularity soared in 2020. Munger said SPACs represented a moral failing and that was the easy money being made by SPAC sponsors could cause horrible problems with civilization. Munger also said he hated the rise of Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency describing it as useful to kidnappers and extortionists. He said it was disgusting and contrary to the interest of civilization because it was a financial product created out of thin air. Buffett also defended Berkshire Hathaway's continued ownership of stakes in fossil fuel companies including the US oil super major producer Chevron and multiple other large energy companies. Chevron is not an evil company in the least and I have no compunction about owning Chevron, Buffett said. Added that on the climate crisis that he thought that people that are on the extremes of both sides are a little nuts. Berkshire Hathaway resisted shareholder resolutions calling it to report its own climate exposures despite a growing consensus among many of the world's largest investors that climate disclosures should be made by all companies as a first step in combating the climate crisis. The investors Culpers, Federated Herms and Cassie de Depot at Placement du Quebec have proposed requiring Berkshire to publish annual reports about its climate crisis efforts. The proposal garnered a quarter of the world's cash after Buffett and other directors voted against it, suggesting growing discontent among Berkshire Hathaway shareholders. Berkshire Hathaway struggled during 2020 in part due to the difficulties faced by airlines and aerospace manufacturers. It act out a gain of 2.4% in its share value against the S&P 500 benchmark 18.4% return. However, in the first quarter of 2021, it made profits of $11.7 billion as the market rallied. The company is sitting on a cash pile of $145.4 billion, up 5% during the first quarter. We are seeing very substantial inflation, Buffett said at a Sunday shareholder meeting. 
We've got nine home builders in addition to our manufacturing housing and operation, which is the largest in the country. The investor continued. So we really do a lot of housing. The costs are just up, up, up. Steel costs, you know, just every day they're going up. Indeed, surging pieces are becoming a problem, a grave problem, in fact, in the housing sector. This has ramifications for all of us. Inflation often feels like an abstract concept, but it hits everyday people the hardest. In one example, the ongoing surge in lumber prices over the last year, one of many current manifestations of inflation has increased the price of a typical new single-family home by nearly $36,000. And an example that hits even closer to home, FWE's Hannah Cox recently reported on an ongoing surge in food and grocery prices that threatens Americans' ability to keep food on the table. Food prices jumped 3.9% in 2020, Hannah explained. Unfortunately, this trend seems poised to continue. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimates grocery bills could increase by another 3% in 2021. She notes that meat prices increased 5.5% last year, while there was a whopping 11.3% increase in the price of fruits like apples and strawberries. Food and housing inflation are just the beginning. A recent Bank of America survey found that investors rank inflation overall as their top concern. Even some liberal-leaning economists like former Obama cabinet official Larry Summers favorably predisposed to big spending plans that are sounding the alarm. I think there's a real possibility that within the year we're going to be dealing with the most serious incipient inflation problem we've had in the last 40 years. That's what Summers said. Even from just housing and food, you can see how rising prices hurt everyday people, essentially because it decreases your real purchasing power. Inflation is a stealth tax. In order to spend more, the government takes wealth away from citizens without most people realizing it. Official inflation statistics are messy and they often underestimate true price increase, but Warren Buffet's warning is just the latest in a growing body of evidence that inflation, at least in several key sectors, is becoming a serious threat. The world's biggest companies are taking action, just like Buffett at Berkshire, Procter & Gamble said it would begin to hike prices on baby care, feminine care, and adult incontinence products in the United States. Whirlpool CFO Jim Peters recently said that the appliance maker just jacked up prices by another 5% to 12% due to rising steel costs. Really? Have you shopped for an appliance lately and wasn't this a topic just a year or two ago when Trump was in office and the tariff wars were raging with China? Any excuse in a storm, I guess. Kleenex maker Kimberly Clark said it will increase prices in the US and Canada on the majority of its consumer products due to significant commodity cost inflation. The percentage increases will range from 5 to 10 percent and will go into effect in June. Don't catch a summer cold and have to blow your nose if you can't help it. The final thoughts? We have all been in a lull now for many years as inflation has stayed around 2% for a long period of time. 2% doesn't impact you as much as the high inflation did back in my youth in the 1970s when inflation was wild and interest rates hit as high as 20%. Now we may see numbers that will impact our months instead of years, so it's a little scary. I'm not as smart as Warren Buffett, but I too see rising inflation coming and I don't see anyone really doing anything about it. We are so anxious to open up the economy that we think, to hell with inflation, let's go and party. Well, parties are fun, but they do cost money and not everyone is going to be celebrating when the bill comes to the table. Are you prepared for inflation 2021 style? What are you going to do when you are faced with a hard decision caused by the increasing cost of living? Will government programs be the answer? Or will you find your standard of living declining both now and in retirement? This is it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like. And if you are new, then do not forget to subscribe. See you till the next video and thank you for watching.